Hello, this is Wampire. I was asked about this guy right here um, using the hammer for self-defense. So yeah, this one says um, 20 ounces. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's about a foot and a half long. A uh, fairly heavy duty hammer. Um, now there's all kinds of different hammers, so that's the first thing. I would definitely go with something um, smaller and lighter than this, just because this feels too heavy to me. The that's the minus. The the plus is definitely because of the weight and the size, the leverage. I feel like this is has the potential to do a tremendous amount of damage, but maneuverability is bad. So for me, I kind of feel like 100%. This is like if there's a home invasion, someone breaks into your house and this is what you got, then you hide and then at the right moment, take them out with this. So that's kind of the way that, that I would use this guy. Um, but now we, we also got to ask ourselves, if you see a hammer, then you also probably see this screwdriver and this guy, a wrench. They're probably in the same area, uh, same box or something like that. So then... Why would you go to the hammer, okay? Um, I'm not saying that the hammer's no good. Like I said, this, this definitely, I mean, this could crack a skull, no joke. So this definitely has that one hit kill kind of potential. The screwdriver, um, first of all, this, this grip is very, very nice. And you can see this one is fairly long, so it's a fairly heavy duty kind of uh, screwdriver. It's not a compact pocket size. And I think it's obvious that you're gonna stab and thrust with this thing. You could also go into reverse grip and stab as well. But another thing not to forget about with this guy is you could really strike with it as well. And uh, you could really whip at somebody. And I think it, it can do a tremendous amount of damage too. Um, not like the hammer, but you know, I wouldn't count it out. So this is obviously a lot more maneuverable. Don't forget that, you know, this is not just only for stabbing is, is my recommendation. Uh, the wrench out of the three for me, this is the one that I would go for. Um, the grip is obviously the nicest. Not all wrenches uh, have this kind of thing, but uh, grip wise, this feels, this feels great. And weight distribution wise and, and all that, it, it really doesn't feel too bad. And if you look, I think it's obvious to like <laughs> use this like the fork to, to stab into somebody. And also you could just use the weight to, you know, smack somebody and even sideways as well. But um, also look at this part right here. That's kind of sharp, folks. So that will split open skin and cut a person um, much easier than the other parts. So, you know, it's kind of versatile and I like that. I feel like for Filipino martial arts, this one kind of goes the best because Filipino martial arts is a very versatile style. So not saying that the hammer isn't effective or the screwdriver isn't effective. I'm just saying for Filipino martial arts, seems like this would be the best choice. Now, you know, that all depends on your expression of Filipino martial arts. So the bottom line is take these three tools and go train with it and get the experience and see, don't just listen to me, see how it works out for you because your usage may be a little bit different from me, your strategies, your techniques. Even if we, you also do a Filipino martial arts like I do, it may still be a very different because there's a lot of room for personal expression there. So depending on your fighting style, right? But yeah, um, you know, just something to think about. That's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.